for additional vectors, you're going to need the following uh, equipments, items. You need, of course, your ruler. Ayan, kung pwede ganyan, sana na maayos ang mga calibration sa mga ruler sa atin. But, uh, if you do not have like this kind of ruler, you go with the one na may pinakamaayos na mga go hit ng calibration. Okay? Kasi, importante yun sa pag-estimate uh, or pagtansya ng length ng vectors natin. So, ruler, of course, you, re you will be needing your pencil. Please, no using of ball pen so that I will not see any scribbles there when there are errors. Yung may eraser. Okay, please. Uh, number two, pencil. Okay, whatever kind of pencil is that already. Next, you'll be needing your protractor. Okay, protractor na kung pwede po ay maganda rin po yung mga guhit niya dito o yung mga calibrations. Lastly, of course, you'll be needing a piece of paper. Okay, papel. Uh, pwede na rin clear band paper like this. Uh, I do not have a graphing paper here at home, but preferably graphing paper sana. Okay, graphing paper, yellow pad paper. Okay, so any piece of paper as long as you draw properly the Cartesian plane in that paper at maayos ang pagkakadrawing ng mga vectors natin. Sir, paano nga ba natin nag-visualize ang mga vectors? We do na what we call as vector representation. We draw them. Okay? How are they represented? How are they drawn? They are drawn through arrows. So, nagda-drawing tayo ng mga arrows. Okay? Ngayon yung mga arrows na yun, may lengths at direction. Okay? Pag sinabi natin lengths naman, yun yung, uh, it will now tell you the magnitude, yung haba ng arrow will tell you how much is the numerical value of the vector quantity given and yung kung saan na, na, na tinuturo, kung saan yung tinuturo ng arrow, now also represents the direction ng vector quantity given. The direction of the a vector is the acute angle it makes with the east-west line. So, palagi natin basihan po yung ating horizontal east-west line sa ating Cartesian plane. So, usually, ang itsura ay magnitude, okay, and then followed by yung degrees ng ating vector, and then you, usually you will now see the uh, directions north or, or, or south, after the degrees and then connected by the phrases of east and of west. Sir, bakit of east and of west? Kasi yun ang basihan natin. Doon tayo nag-start ng pag-drawing uh, ng uh, pag-determine ng kung saan ang ilang degrees ang movement or placement ng ating vectors. Okay? So, the word north or south is written after the measure of the angle followed by the phrase of east or of west. So, yun yung rule natin. Okay, now, just a little note sa paggamit ng protractor ninyo. Mapansin nyo, meron tayong like dalawang uh, rows. Ayan na mga numbers or degrees natin here in our protractor. Please be careful with that. Okay, itong black na ito, ginagamit kapag ganito ang orientation ng ating protractor. Yung black po ang ginagamit na kulay. Okay, the red one, the, number, uh, the numbers in red naman, are usually used kapag naka-flip or ganito ang orientation ng ating protractor. Now, one thing also to take note is that do not ever, ever... Pag idikit sa mismong point of origin itong baba ng side ng protractor natin. What you point or uh, ang itapat ninyo sa point of origin natin ay itong 5 na nakita ninyo. This point, this point that I'm pointing here, yan ang itapat sa exactong point of origin sa ating Cartesian plane. Okay, so a little demo tayo ulit sa vector representation and direction. Given tayo ng mga examples dito, we have five vectors, A to E, pero sa first four muna tayo mag-concentrate. Now, for the first four, you are not given with the magnitude, so medyo hindi pa natin pagtutunan ng pansin si length. But in vector 5, pupunta tayo doon mamaya. Okay, so let's go first now to the direction. So, let's draw vector A. 50 degrees north of east. Yan ang unahin natin. Of course, we have our protractor here. Meron tayo ng ating ruler dito. 
ruler of course to just draw. But now, let's start with vector A. So, 50 degrees north of east. So, pag sinabi north of east, you start now from the east line and you go up now north. By how many degrees? By 50 degrees. Yun po ang 50 degrees north of east. Okay, so I hope sana naiintindihan ninyo. So, nai-specify ko na sa inyo kanina kung paano mag, ano, mag tapat ng protractor. Tapat yung may 5 po doon sa mismo point of origin. So, we start from now the east line. Okay, and we now go up north. Pataas ng 50 degrees. So, from east line, para puntahan natin, sundan natin yung protractor sa 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Ayan. So, sa may 50 degrees doon sa black one. So, markahan lang natin itong katapat nito na calibration. Okay? So, that to mark our 50 degrees uh, north of east. Okay? And then, from that point, is your ruler already. Make sure na nakatapat na mabuti sa ating point of origin. At doon sa minarka natin na 50 degrees. Okay? So, ayan. Nakatapat na ng mabuti. And then, start drawing, of course, now our vector. So, from the point of origin, draw the arrow or the vector to the mark na na, na markan natin kanina. Okay? And then, of course, draw now the arrow head. Now, what I want you to notice is that I'm drawing the arrow head dun sa may mismong tip nung line na drawing ko. Wag natin i-drawing ng uh, mas malayo dun sa na-draw na ating vector already. So, let's just remove this part already and let's mark now vector A. This is vector A. Okay? And that is now 50 degrees. Isin lang natin to. 50 degrees north of east. That is vector A. Okay, so let's go now to the other vectors. Okay, so proceed naman na tayo ngayon sa vectors B, C, and D. Yes, one na natin. Okay, now, vector B tells you the direction is northwest. Now, kapag given kayo ng ganyan, at may kita sa mga items niyo, that usually represents now in terms of degrees is 45 degrees. 45 degrees pong nire-represent niya. May may kita ka na northeast. That's the same as uh, southeast and southwest. They tell you that the degrees from the east-west line is 45 degrees. Okay, so, vector B tayo. Vector B, using na our protractor, markahan muna natin. So, that is northwest. So, dito parte ng ating Cartesian plane sa second na quadrant natin. So, from there, tapat na mabuti si protractor. And let's see, where's 45? 45 now is also here. Ayan, o, nakikita ninyo? 45. So, that's 45 degrees. Ayan, markahan natin. Okay, and then, from the point of origin, again, draw your arrow. Draw the arrow of the vector. Tapat nyo lang doon sa may pinarte yung minarkahan ninyo. Make sure that the... Uh, arrow or the vector starts at the point of origin as much as possible. So, let's now draw our vector. Ayan. And that is now our vector letter uh, B. So, that is now northwest. Okay. Now, since it's 45 degrees, hindi na natin lalagyan ng ganito. Okay. Kasi we know that uh, it's uh, the direction of the vector is like halfway now in between yung 90 degrees between north and west. Now, let's go to vector C, south of east. So, it's been from the east line, we now go down south by how many? 20 degrees. Okay, so, napaka-simple again, using the protractor. Now, we are dealing with the bottom quadrants na dito. So, flip na ngayon ang orientation ng ating protractor. So, itapat na mabuti yung protractor sa ating point of origin. That's 20 degrees uh, south of east. So, from the east line here, we go down south by 20 degrees. Here is now the 20 degrees. So, markahan natin yung 20 degrees. I hope na nakikita natin ng mabuti. 
Markahan yan. Okay? Since wala pang length yung arrow natin, basta we just start drawing the arrow now from the point of origin, papunta dun sa minarkahan na lang natin para makita lang natin na mabuti ang kanyang direction. So, now draw the vector from the point of origin. Draw properly yung arrowhead doon lang sa my tip po mismo na nung arrow na na-drawing natin. Okay? Purahin lang natin itong part na ito so that we can see it clearly. So, that is now vector C. Okay? And that is 20 degrees south of east. Okay. Sir, kailangan ba lahat lagyan ng mga gantang mga degrees? Yes. Para at least alam ko na uh, yun yung ini-specify nyo na degrees nyo. Okay. And lastly, we now have vector D south naman na. So, it just tells you that it's south. So, let's just draw now the vector along the south line of our Cartesian plane. So, mag-drawing na lang tayo ng isang line lang dito. Kapalan natin ng kwanti para lang ma-distinguish from the Cartesian plane line and draw the arrowhead there. And that is now vector D. So, ganyan ah. Ganyan ang pag-drawing natin ng mga vectors properly.